What's up, guys? Um, I am back with some more Pokemon Go stuff today. I, I didn't think this is what I'd end up discussing. But uh, one of my friends has been particularly hyped about the upcoming Pokemon games for Nintendo Switch, which will actually be from Nintendo and Game Freak. Now, there had been rumors floating around about Pokemon Go integration with this game, and I just encountered this ad, which I believe confirms them. This was released about a week ago. Sorry I'm late. Uh, let's watch. Now, this already looks eerily similar to the original Pokemon Go ads. You'll notice this is actually by Game Freak. And looking here, this looks like the OG Pokemon games where you actually walk around through tall grass to find stuff. And there's Pokemon centers and trainers to battle and all this stuff. There's actually Professor Oak. Oh my god. Alright. Now, here's where it's interesting. That is definitely the Pokemon Go throw mechanic. So, this is interesting. Now, this I'm not really sure how it works. Is this two different players both getting the Pokemon they catch? Because I see this strangeness. Do they both get that? Is one just a secondary player? And also, what's with this totally not double battle right now? However, notice that that was turn-based. You also get this Pokeball controller, which I promise you people are gonna throw into their TVs. <laughs> and Take them for a stroll that looks like some kind of buddy mechanic. Now, Pokemon's tried this several times before, but this one does look a lot better done. Man, I wish I could just find it. And notice that happened to Pokemon Go. And we have this transfer. And, okay, I want to pause here for a second. Because it said you found them in Go Park. Now, as you recall, from going from the Game Boy Advance generation to the DS generation, the way we transferred them was we put both cartridges in the game, and then we loaded them up in the Safari Zone and went and caught them. Alright? But you'll also recall that was a one-way trip. And that in particular has me really worried about this. Um, this comes out in November 2018. I will be catching two of everything that comes out until then. Alright, and we're back in. This also has me kind of hyped. It's probably going to be some mythic they hold over our heads for us to go buy Nintendo Switches. Says it's a special Pokemon. Now, oh, and Pokeball Plus. And you'll already see that that looks very, very similar to Pokemon Go. Even in the names. And like they did to get a bunch of players interested in Pokemon Go, they obviously started with Gen 1. And one more point is I absolutely promise that free gift is some exclusive mythical Pokemon to hold over our heads. 
people would just be too angry if it was like, you know, another Ash Hat Pikachu type deal. Like, that would just be obnoxious. And my big thing here is two concerns. Okay, one, this is actually made by Nintendo and Game Freak. This is made by the people that actually make Pokemon and actually do a good job. Now, like, Niantic, <laughs> Niantic, who makes Pokemon Go, is a little special. I think we all know that. And does that mean that Nintendo and Game Freak are going to step in and either take over Pokemon Go entirely, which, honestly, I wouldn't oppose, or are they going to, like, keep regulating it a little more? Because we already saw the um, Alolan region Pokemon appear actually last night. Yeah, I actually got a few of the executors. And that could be good or bad because I'm sure that Nintendo wants to run Pokemon Go a lot differently than Niantic does. But on the other hand, I don't think Niantic really cares a whole lot. They did Pokemon Go as kind of a proof of concept, because that's what their company does, and they, I mean, it was such a cash cow, it would have been stupid for them to just end it after they proved it, so they've just kind of kept doing the minimum to keep it going, but this, this is going to bring back that July 2016 crowd, and also it's going to get a lot more kids to play it. Now, um, the dark side of this, now I'm sure that anybody who's played the original Pokemon games is familiar with the action replay. Now in Pokemon Go we have a slightly different version of hacked Pokemon and that is people who multi-account, that is people who spoof, that is people who use the discord scanners and like that sort of thing. And this game coming out is payday for all those multi encounters because here's what can happen. Even if that transfers a one-way trip, they can use multi accounts to just transfer like, you know, 10 Mewtwo's onto a copy of one of these games. And then surely in these games you can trade. And then you got some eBay type issues there. <laughs> and that that kind of worries me. Because another thing is, uh, if Game Freak and Nintendo do step in, then they're going to take real action against those people, because Nintendo does not tolerate that kind of thing. If you wanted to play in one of the Game Boy Advance tournaments, um, and it was like one actually hosted by Nintendo, like they would scan your game, and if an AR has ever touched it, you got kicked. Like, immediately. And so, I think what this is, is this is Nintendo accepting that Pokemon Go has surpassed their original handheld games in popularity, and them accepting that this strange new platform is awesome and works, and this is them saying, okay, well, we're going to take that, and then we're going to do it right. And I think that's exactly what the community has been wanting for a long time. And I look forward to it. Now, um, just as a quick side note, um, oh, sorry, bump the mic there. Let's see how much a Nintendo Switch is right now. $300. Wow. That's, that's pretty... Uh, that's pretty steep. Um, yeah, see, people that have a Nintendo Switch are going to go nuts and they're going to come back to Pokemon Go. I'm not convinced that people on Pokemon Go are going to go all buy a Nintendo Switch. Like, I don't know if that's happening. I've been kind of eyeballing getting one for a while, but... I never really pulled the trigger on it because I I'm sorry. I'm I I was still so let down by the Wii and Wii U era that I'm I'm learning to trust Nintendo again. 
And, uh... Okay. So the console only is 300, and then they have bundles for more. Um... Okay, it's 4K compatible. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all this fun stuff. And wireless AC, that helps. Um, it's getting good reviews. But, again... Even, even if somebody drops 300 for the console and 60 for the game, that is $360. More or less just to unlock the mythic in Pokemon Go. Now, there, there are whales out there that'll do it. I'm sure. But that that's steep, man. Now, it would be smart of them to make a decent-priced Nintendo Switch bundle with the game when the game comes out. And you pull... Because it's in November, which means, like, let's be real, that's going to be a Christmas game. So it could maybe be like, oh, I mean, they couldn't make a discount if you already had a Pokemon Go account, because then again, because again, then multi-accounters just scalp them. But I'm thinking maybe like some kind of sale where it's like 250 for like the console, the game, and the special Pokeball thrower thing, and then maybe it comes with like so many coins and Pokemon Go or something like that. That could work. But uh, anyway, just a quick news update wanted to share with y'all. See you.